Hey, it's Dr. Brad with a super awesome astronomical event visible all across Australia and the world and just with your naked eyes. And that is a lineup of five planets in our morning sky during the month of June. So if you enjoyed having four planets last month, now we add Mercury to the mix. And it all starts about the 6th of June. The week that the 6th of June is when Mercury is just now visible in the early morning to be seen. And Mercury will be joining Saturn, followed by Jupiter, Mars, and Venus. In order to see this, you want to wake up around 5.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. You need to be it before sunrise, but not too early so that Mercury is not yet risen. Look towards the east. When you look towards the east, and if you look kind of straight up, you'll see Saturn. And then below it in a line will be Jupiter, and then below it in a line will be Mars, followed by Ver Venus, and then Mercury at the bottom. And this will last for a couple of weeks until we get to around the 19th of June, when we start getting the moon joining the party. So in fact, on the 22nd of June, m the moon will be right next to Jupiter in this lineup. So you would have Saturn, Jupiter, and the moon, followed by Mars, then Venus, and Mercury. And then the moon slowly keeps going. It joins then Mars next. And really, the best date is the 24th and 25th because there's a gap between Mars and Venus. So you get Saturn, followed by Jupiter, Mars, the Moon, Venus, and Mercury, all in this beautiful row in the early morning sky. So again, you want to look around 6 o'clock to see all of these things towards the east with Saturn being almost straight above you and just visible to the naked eye. Now, practically to see this, you want a nice clear view to the east, so away from trees, buildings, and lights. It doesn't need to be super dark, but you do want to have as dark as possible. And when you go outside, let your eyes adjust for a few minutes. So Venus is pretty bright, as is Jupiter, but Mercury is quite faint. So you want your eyes to be nice and adjusted to see it. And again, you're going to be out around 5.45, 6 a.m., so make sure you wear something warm, unless you're in a warm location, uh, and you can enjoy this early morning celestial lineup. Now, if you have a telescope or a pair of binoculars, you can kind of unlock bonus features with this lineup and actually see Uranus. So Uranus is also in this perfect lineup hanging near Venus in the sky. Now, it is too faint to see with the naked eye, but if you do have a telescope and you look towards Venus, you should be able to see Uranus. And in fact, if you have a telescope, looking at all the planets is really special. Uh, if you have a good telescope, you could probably see the rings of Saturn. A small pair of binoculars even can resolve four of the moons of Jupiter, what we call the Galilean moons. Mars, well, look, Mars is kind of boring. It just looks like the red planet. Sorry, Mars. Um, Venus. Venus and Mercury are cool because they have phases just like the moon. Now, Venus is in about a three-quarter phase. So if you look at it with a telescope or binoculars, you'll notice that it's not this full circle that kind of the right side of it's missing. And with Mercury, it's in a very small crescent phase. So when you look at it through your telescope, you'll see not a round circle, but a very thin crescent like the crescent moon. So definitely worthwhile to get out the telescope or binoculars if you have them. So I hope you enjoy this planetary lineup. I'd love to hear uh, what you see, how you experience it, any photos you get. And make sure to subscribe on YouTube to help me make more videos.